Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and there you are. You set up the point perfectly. You and your doubles partner have backed your opponents to a corner, and all they have left is to throw up this lazy looking lob, and it's your chance to come in and triumphantly end the point with a great overhead. And then the ball sails long, and your opponents can be seen high fiving and snickering with each other. Ouch. Man, I feel your pain. It's happened to me, it's happened to everyone. Luckily, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the satisfaction of hitting that overhead smash with authority and ending the point time after time again. Let's get started. All right, first thing right out of the gate, let's talk about the grip. In the interest of making this a short and sweet video, you can trust me that you wanna be in a continental grip. Not to say you can't hit it with another grip, but if you're up at the net, I highly recommend a continental grip because it makes all of your volleys and overhead easily accessible. Easy to find, just put your hand on the racket like this. Next, the ball is gonna go up in the air. What you don't wanna do is treat this like a serve. It's got a lot of common elements of the serve, but the main difference is that with an overhead, simply go right into this position that resembles you aiming a bow and arrow up into the sky. Your non-hitting arm is gonna help hold your balance and help you locate the ball. Oh yeah, and don't get curious and peek before you make contact. The ball most likely won't do what you want. Instead, keep your eyes up until you make contact. All right, Robin Hood, next, notice that you also wanna be sideways to the ball like this. That's gonna help you rotate, slam the ball, and prepare your victory dance. Here's a little preparation drill that'll help you seamlessly get into hitting this shot with a ton of confidence. Feed yourself a ball straight up in the air like this and go into your bow and arrow preparation. Keep your non-hitting arm up and practice catching the ball with that hand. It'll help your tracking, your spacing, and any chance you have of making the Dodgers. Next thing, make sure you keep the ball in front of you and stay on top of the ball. Specifically, you want to make contact with your arm at a 45 degree angle into the court. If the ball gets behind you, it's going to sail. And Grandma Betty walking behind the fence has groceries to carry, so keep her safe. Next, make sure your entire arm is relaxed, especially your wrist. And envision throwing the racket head at the ball. It's basically the same motion. Finally, aim for the service line. If you're playing doubles, you can go down the middle because it solves the riddle. Or take them out wide if they're out of position. If you really want to take out the guesswork, hit it right at Willie's feet. If for some reason you're hitting this from the baseline, don't try to be too fine. Just try and put pressure on your opponents with a well-struck ball. I almost forgot, don't forget to celebrate. Even if it's just a little jig just for you and your partner, you'll never be the victim of the lazy lobbers again. And what gets rewarded gets repeated. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I have a great time making every video for you. Do me a favor, if you like more videos like this, go ahead and click the card in the upper right hand corner and subscribe for my free emails and videos. You'll be the first to receive these stunning uh, cinematographic, cinematographic <laughs> triumphs. So go ahead and click the card, sign up for my free videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, bye for now.